Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me in a place that I've actually really wanted to visit a number of times. It's called the Maharis. And you wouldn't actually believe that it's in Ireland. It's so beautiful. You've got some crystal clear sands. You've got turquoise blue waters. I've got a clear sky actually here lighting up the whole scene and it's really making the whole area pop. Now, when I first arrived here actually, I set off out onto a bit of a sandbank and I managed to get a couple of shots there of some patterns in the sand. But that sandbank is now since gone. And I'm actually at the very end of my shoot and what I've actually done is made a cardinal sin. I forgot to turn on the receiver on my microphone so my whole video had no audio whatsoever. However, I do think that I'm really happy with the images that I've gotten here today. So I kind of want to talk you through as a kind of a voiceover in relation to each of the different scenes that I would have come across because each of them I think are quite unique. And this area here, if you haven't visited, I would really recommend to come and visit because it's absolutely beautiful. So the first place, like I said, that I went to was on the sand dunes. And I really looked at the different textures that were on the ground and I spotted this bit of a puddle. And as at that time actually, when the puddle started to fill up with water that I realized that the sandbank that I was on was slowly surely eroding gone with water so I had to leave rather quickly but not before I managed to get two shots from there After that, as I got back to the mainland, I saw that there was a nice bit of a pattern on the sand on one side and then a smoothness on the sand on the other side. So I framed up a shot there to be able to take that using the gorgeous light that we have here today. And I think that would be a very nice shot as well because you get separation on either side of the frame and then leading right up as well to the mountains that were in the distance and some nice clouds that were there also. Shortly after that, as I was heading down towards I finished up, which was over here, um, I spotted as the water was coming in different layers that were there. And there was actually a bit of driftwood stuck on the sandbank. So I managed to grab a very quick shot as well of that by using the different layers. I could ground in front with the water, then with the driftwood, then with the sand dunes, and then all again in the beautiful light. I placed that directly in the center of the frame. And I think that also was a nice shot. As I continued on down here then as well, I noticed that the two sandbanks either side here were kind of crisscrossing over from my visibility. So I managed to grab a shot as well there, handheld, and I went for a walk and just framed up the shot there to be able to get that either side. Again, the light played a big part here, but these white sands were absolutely beautiful in that light. Now, after that, and it was actually around about here, there was a lot of what, very unusual brown stones. And even the water itself as well had gone kind of brown from all the sediment that would come off those stones. So I managed to get a couple of nice shots as well of those down low, handheld, and also on the tripod by using, again, the framing of the darkness of those below me with the water, and then both sandbanks as well either side. And then leading off over into the distance. That was a very nice shot, I think, also.
And then after that, as I was still continuing on my journey, I spotted that there was a small bit of an area that I could get across. But before I got to that, I again spotted a nice bit of a texture in the sand with the water, with another sand bank, with the water again, and then another sand bank after that. And it's really, really nice because the dunes here are really great at catching beautiful light. After that, it was go quick, jump across some stones to be able to get over to this area here. And you can just see there's a bit of a um, driftwood sticking up out of the sand. So I headed straight towards that. And for me, it looked really very much so like a desert island. So there was only a couple of footprints around it. There wasn't that many. So what I ended up doing was framing up the shot with it on the bottom right hand corner of the frame. And then I also did another one where it was in the center of the frame but it was looking off into the mountains in the distance here, which were catching nicely on the light. And again, with the clouds sitting on top of them on the Dingle Peninsula. And then the final shot that I managed to get actually was maybe a bit fortuitous, I'm not quite sure, but there seemed to be a clam shell on the water's edge just over here. So I cut that as the water was just coming towards it. Now I think if I'd arrived any time later, it probably would be swept out by the water. So it's perfect timing for me to be able to find that in pristine sand and be able to grab that shot with it in the frame on the bottom uh, of the foreground of the frame and then leading off out with this beautiful turquoise sea that's behind it. So that's an overview of my day here today. Like I said, I made the cardinal sin, unfortunately, of not recording the audio, but hopefully you get an idea of what I experienced anyway here today, and you can see the beauty of that's all around me. Um, hope you've enjoyed the images as well. Please let me know in the comments below which image was your favorite. I'm going to finish up this episode for a second time because I've already recorded my outro, but obviously with no audio. But I hope you've enjoyed, like I say. Thank you very much for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, hopefully with proper audio, schlong the fall.